Hi and welcome to the Digit Fiddler version 1.3 update video and this is very exciting we have a new feature that is just going to make your animations look so much better it is mono spacing so I've got some text here and I've got Digit Fiddler I'm just going to set the expression to time so now we've got some counting text and we can see that Rubik is a variable width font and this looks awful because depending on the characters, the widths are changing all over the place and it just looks bad. So monospacing to the rescue. To help Digit Fiddler monospace this correctly, what we wanna do is increase the tracking by a lot. That's just gonna help us separate the characters and everything's gonna go smoothly. So let's come down to monospacing and enable that. And at its default, the settings are wrong. So what we need to do is set the threshold so that every character is in its own colored world. So I'm gonna lower the threshold to say five, that looks good. And once we think we've got the threshold incorrect, let's lower the character width so that they're not so wide. And oops, the threshold is actually not correct. The semicolon is split up. There we go, that's looking good. Every character in its own colored box. So once we've done that, we can remove the guide. Although we'll notice that it looks a bit silly because the um, semicolon is much thinner than the other characters. So that character should not be as wide. To fix that, we can go to custom width and the character index, the semicolon is three, and then we can change the width to say six. So that character will be much smaller. Once you're happy with the width and thresholding, it's important to note that you can scale up the layer with no issues. The width and thresholding are gonna to adapt to the scale value. However, they won't adapt if instead of scaling the layer, you change the font size. So that's gonna cause problems there. So just make sure once you're happy with these values, you're then scaling the layer, not changing the text size. So that's perfect. Now we can remove the guide. Uh, initially we set the tracking much higher so now we can remove the tracking by lowering that and if you're wondering the difference between tracking and character width character width has to be an integer value uh, whereas tracking just like after effects tracking can be a floating point or decimal value so this being a decimal value animates very smoothly now we can go ahead and play out animation and it's perfect all the text is spaced they don't move at all depending on what character they are on the animation just looks so much smoother so that's pretty much mono spacing there's a few caveats uh, if you have some 3d text that's fine but you can't then move it in Z position also you can't add any rotation that's just not going to work unfortunately however uh, pre-composing the layer and the effect will fix that and then you can have 3d text and rotated text whatever so i hope you all enjoy fiddling with your mono spaced digits not your variable with digits and uh, if you have any further suggestions for digit fiddler or other plugins please let us know otherwise check out plugineverything.com for new t new plugins new free stuff new tutorials we're always adding to our catalog so check us out there and thanks for watching